Let's get to it uh, with the Big Lebowski. How were you introduced to that film? Did you just get a script? Uh, or No, I, I ran to the Coen brothers uh, a couple of years before that, I guess, mm -hmm. <clears throat> at a party, and they said, well, we're writing something for you. I said, oh, great, because I was a big fan of Blood Simple and some other earlier sure. film. And then I got the script, and I said, what? This is not, not like anything I've done. Were you were you spying? And were you know, did you crash some of my high school parties? And you you know, I mean, where where did this guy come from? But I, I was thrilled to to work with those guys. They're real they're real masters. They know how to do it. Was that character based on anybody that you know? Yeah, it was based on a guy named Jeff Dowd. For them, you know, mm -hmm. they they used him quite a bit. I met him. He came on the script. I didn't uh, use him too much. I really referenced. Uh, myself, and, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, and the script, you know. Yeah. But, uh, so you are. How much of the dude is in you? A little bit, you know. That's what. That's where I. That's where I start when I prepare for any film. I think about uh, aspects of myself that kind of parallel the character, and I might magnify mm -hmm. certain aspects, ones that don't fit a kick to the curb. But that's a, you know, that's the beginning play, you know. Um, when uh, Mary Zofries, the costume designer, we met at my home, and I said, you know, we've tried a bunch of stuff. I said, why don't you come up to my closet? Let's just look around. And she said, what are these weird jelly shoes here? I said, oh, yeah, those are, those are my shoes. Oh, those are good for the dude. Let's put those. And oh, look what's this t shirt? What's this weird Japanese lettering over this baseball guy? What is that? I said, oh, yeah. So we just, you know, used uh, a lot of my stuff. What about the cardigan? The cardigan sweater is that yours? No, that yeah. was um, that was Mary's. Okay. But I scored the I scored that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You kept it? Oh yeah. Where's that cardigan now? Do you know where? <laughs> it's on a wooden statue of um, Hotai, a, a, a bodhisattva, you know, character, and I. He's wearing my sweater. In your house? Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So that exists. Yes. White Russians. Where did that come from? That was just in the script. It was in the script. You know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it, 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 given the choice, would you roll on Shabbos or not, <laughs> Jeff? Well, that's my partner. That's I know. John. I have no problem rolling on Shabbos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you? When did you realize that this film would become, in many ways, Cut, a? Yeah. It's, you can't even call it a cult. It's it's a classic. It's just oh. a flat out classic now. Yeah. Yeah. For the Big Lebowski. Uh, I was surprised because we had a great time making it and we were all, you mm -hmm. know, laughing and, you know, thinking, oh, you know, this was a fun movie. We didn't think it was going to be anything like it was today. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised when it first came out and did nothing. It was like, you know, kind of a bomb. And then it uh, played in Europe and they got it. And then it splashed back over uh, on our shores and, and it. You know, he grew to become well, what it a, is. As one of our colleagues on this show, Jeff Bridges here on the on the show for a couple more minutes. One of the colleagues on our show here has a friend who went to a, a Lebowski bar oh. in Iceland. Oh he yeah, got a drink. yeah. We got these. We have uh, Lebowski fests. Um, I've been to one. I played with my band at a Lebowski fest. <laughs> that was my Beatle moment, man. You know, can you imagine? <laughs> the dude, ah, playing to a sea of dudes and bowling pins and you know, moms. It was just totally surreal. Oh, my gosh. It is like a psychedelic journey in itself right but there. But basically, it's just, it's just such a great movie, executed so well. And uh, like many um, masters... Uh, you know, the Coen brothers make it look like it's just nothing. It's falling off a log. You yeah. know? But when you really look at it, man, it is executed yeah, so brilliantly. Well, they're geniuses. I mean, for Raising Arizona, we could go on and yeah. on about the Roger films. Roger De uh, Deakins, the you know, cinematographer, did such a beautiful job. And you're not, you don't think of it as, you know, thinking of a movie that, uh, you know, is shot beautifully. But if you look at that movie... The camera is right where, just where you want it. It's nothing show. There's no showing off. It's mm. just everything is just right. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to move week six games to Saturday for that wedding you have to go to.